we have a wonderful education for life is a wonderful system that looks at the whole of the person. But especially in India, there is so much pressure on the children to get a higher education. But that, it's like <coughs> forcing water through a very narrow channel and it leaves out so there's very little room left in a child's day for artistic expression or mechanical expression. There are some, there are different kinds of intelligences. You know, there's an intellectual intelligence where maybe you're good at manipulating symbols. There's a mechanical intelligence where you can perceive something, you see something in your mind, you can move it around, you can do things with it. There's a physical intelligence, there's an artistic intelligence, there's many different kinds of intelligences. Out of that, the modern educational system is basically focused on a very narrow part of the person. And why is that? Because we're in the age of the merchant. This is the age of the Vaishya. If you think back to Kali Yuga, probably most people in Kali Yuga didn't get any education. They received it from the people around them and they didn't go off to school. Probably very few of them did. When the industrial age came in, which is also concurrent with the beginning of Vapara Yuga, machines began to take place and uh, of, of manual labor, which was good. It freed people from manual labor. But people became a cog in the industrial process. So child labor and working in factories. And, and so the human, the human part of it was not human. It was simply like an intelligent needle or an intelligent cutter. You know, and so most of education, and I'll say this about around the world, but it certainly applies to India, most of education is about how much money they'll make later on in their life. And so this enormous pressure gets put on children to turn them into mercantile Vaishya consciousness and it leaves out all of the other spectrum of things. Why is artistic expression or mechanical expression or, I don't know, social expression, why are all of those eliminated from the school system? Because you can't monetize them very well. And so, so I would go so far as to say that the modern educational system is actually damaging to people and we as parents have a responsibility to our children to broaden out their educational um, opportunities and as parents we need to, I mean I'll, I'll just state it bluntly, we need to have some value for our children other than how much money we can because if that's our focus for our child, we're going to put them into some kind of a flow of life that is likely to be damaging to them, both intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. So art, art and artistic expression is very, very important, as is other aspects of, of the human nature. We need to educate the the body, mind, emotional nature, and the spiritual nature, which is what education for life does. And if we don't do that, we are being irresponsible.